Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here, back again with a brand new video. Today, Apple has decided to release iOS and iPadOS 13.4 Developer Beta 2. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. We are extremely close to 700 subscribers guys, thank you all so much. All right, let's just get right into the video. Just a couple of weeks ago, Apple released the first developer betas of iOS and iPadOS 13.4. This update is most likely going to be the last milestone update to iOS 13 before the release of iOS 14. Now, iOS 13.4 brings several new features, including the long-awaited iCloud folder sharing. It also brings new emoji stickers, car key API, and this update also brings a myriad of different fixes and most likely sev several security improvements. For a full list of what's new in iOS 13.4, check out the video in the iCard right here or click the link down in the description below. So just about an hour ago, Apple dropped iOS and iPadOS 13.4 Beta 2. Now, I've installed the software on my iPad, but have not gotten around to installing it on any of my iPhones just yet. So with that said, you can see here that this, this update is actually a bigger update coming in at 365.9 megabytes on my iPhone SE. And it is coming in at 380.6 gigabytes, I mean megabytes, excuse me, on my iPhone 7. This update brings bug fixes and one can safely assume that there has been more backend security fixes included within this update. Now I will be installing iOS 13.4 beta 2 on my iPhone SE as well as my iPhone 7 right after I finish uploading this video. I cannot wait to test it out and see what beta 2 brings. Now if you are interested, I will be having a watchOS 6.1.3 full review on my Apple Watch Series 1 coming tomorrow. And if you use an iPhone SE or an iPhone 7, Definitely stay tuned for my upcoming full review of iOS 13.4 on both. Now this will be coming early next week. Now as for the public beta, we can expect to see the public beta 2 most likely tomorrow or Friday as Apple tends to release them very close to the developer betas, so it should not be too far off. Now overall my experience with iOS 13.4 developer beta 1 has been phenomenal so far, so I hope any of the leftover bugs are fixed in beta 2 and I hope it just keeps on improving from there. The only bug that I've actually noticed that I failed to mention in my iPhone 7 4 review is notification grouping is really messed up. As you can see I only have one notification here so it's not grouped but it has this really odd overlapping. It's like one of the notifications are further down than it should be. I'm not sure if I'm the only one having that issue or not but it's really weird. This has not happened on my iPhone SE notifications group correctly but on the iPhone 7 they just are all over the place it's extremely weird but i hope that's been fixed in developer beta 2 and i will of course um mention that in my full review anyway guys that's all i have for you in today's video now make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way if you happen to be new to the channel as always definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button also make sure to check out the ice cool tech official discord link in the description down below if you have any questions, comment down below and I will definitely get back to you. And also let me know your experience has been with iOS 13.4 beta so far. Alright everyone, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.